Copilot Workspace is the latest tool coming from the GitHub Next team. Everything starts from an issue and then Copilot will generate first a specification, then a plan of the files it's gonna change and last the implementation with all the files it has to change and the differences. But let's give it a try real time. The entry point for Copilot Workspaces is already the repository homepage. You can find here under the code menu, local code spaces and Copilot. From here you can already describe a task, but for now let's go from the issues. I can grab one of the open issues and here I can find an open in workspace button. Here I also added a comment because Copilot Workspace does not only read the text in the issue, but also all the comments in the discussion. But let's give it a try. Now it is spinning Copilot Workspace and it is analyzing the main question of this issue, specifying the current state and the proposed state. I can already read that there isn't any button to mark a question as required, so the proposed state is that each question card has the button I want to add. Now from here I can add more items on the current situation and on the proposed situation, and I can also see that it used as reference 20 files, which are the main files used to implement those components. So this looks quite reasonable at first, and I want to generate the plan. Now it is taking the specification, and it generated some of the proposed changes it might want to do. For example, adding the new type as was specified in the issue, adding the toggle button and display the indicator. This is working both on choice and on text. But here it doesn't mention what the button is supposed to do, so let me add it to make sure it works. Use the done stack APIs to update the form state. And obviously the same has to be done on the other file. Now from here I can also add to the test plan other files, for example, I can create a new file or I can add an existing file. I can click add here and I can add new test items, but this is not the case for now. So let me remove it from the plan. And now that this looks reasonable, let's implement the selected files. Now after a while, it will grab a file from the queue and it will start generating the new version of the file, including the changes that were defined here in the plan. You can also see it real time it is now generating the files line by line, and when the file is complete, you will be able to see the changes in a div editor. So what happened here? We requested that in the survey.ts file, I wanted to add a require boolean field to text question and choice question. And this is exactly what happened, text question and choice question. Now it is also generating the other two files, again line by line, and let's see how it goes. So from here, let me see if I can already spot the changes here in the header. I can already see that there's a required or optional text depending on a field. And there it is. Now that I can see the divs in the file, there's a new form field and this is specifically using the API of the form library I'm using. And here I can see that there's a button setting true or false on the required field. I'm expecting pretty much the same on the other file. So this file didn't have any button, so it added in the imports and also created a proper header with the button that is the same button it created there. Now, if I want to trust the process 100%, I could already create the pull request, but this is not supposed to replace developers, but rather to be an assistant. So before creating the pull request, let me open a code space and test if the feature is actually working. After a couple of seconds, the workspace will be ready and I can finally open it. So now this isn't Copilot workspace, this is just the usual GitHub code spaces, but I really like how it is integrated smoothly. The developer experience here is really great, you can revise everything, and anyway, while you wait the code space to set up and everything, you're always free to open the file explorer and review the files manually. But let's go back to the code spaces instance. I can now npm run dev on my project and I can test it right on my browser. So the app is now loading. This is the simple test app I was working on. And if I add a question type here, for example, choice, I can see that there's indeed an optional button here I can click it and now it says required and if I click it again it goes back to optional. So this seems to be working fine but there's this X button that overlaps my new button so that's why I wanted to check it on code spaces. I can now jump back on the code, open for example the question card component and if I add for example a margin top here and hit save, this is already looking good. Maybe I can add a margin 8, go back on my tab and well 
This definitely looks like it is working fine. So now that the feature is implemented, I can go back on Copilot workspace and finally hit create pull request. From here, it will also generate the description, obviously, and I can also change the branch name. For example, if you have a specification, you can add it. You can edit the title. And here it also says that it relates to issue number eight. It writes a nice description. And sure enough, I can click create pull request. And now, well, the pull request is ready to be reviewed. You can see the file changed. And if we go back on Copilot workspace, you can find here marked as complete. The entire process ran pretty smoothly and I'm really happy that you can change and revise every single step. You can add items, you can remove items and also edit them. And oh, you can even add child items. I didn't know, that's cool. And anyway, coding with an AI assistant is great, but I still think this is kind of pair programming. And being able to edit and revise every single step is what really makes the difference. As you notice, I had a tiny overlapping issue, but with a combination of code spaces, I was able to quickly fix it before creating the pull request. So a huge shout out to the GitHub Next team who keeps delivering those amazing Copilot features. But I'm also curious to hear what do you think about this new tool? So let me know in the comment and let's start a discussion. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.